Welcome back to Road 56 as Ireland. So we finally got onto the continent and the... The overseas brigades are pushing up into the Alps. This is probably the stupidest thing I could have done, but I never claimed to be a genius. Or even a functional human being. So I'm gonna stop that attack and just let them re let them recoup their strength a bit. Though we might also be by be helping here a little bit by I don't know maybe I'm just reaching. You know, in the base game, I usually go with the Mountaineers as my Special Forces unit. Everyone's letting me small arms because these guys are short of it. But anyway, I usually go with Mountaineers for my Special Forces unit for precisely this sort of reason. I can't remember why, why I do that. The main reason it's taking a while is it has to be produced and delivered. Now, as it sounds, Italy is pretty much full and I'm not sure if I'll bother pushing into the Balkans because that might take a while. Or maybe I should actually go give the Brits and Americans a hand over here. Probably a bad idea, but let's see if I can help clean up this section first. Ooh, that's well, that's helpful. Iraq surrendered, so eh, combat casualties. Well, since I have the spare power, I may as well just go with this for the extra force support. Not much, but... Yeah, I need to try something different. Oh, that explains it. I was only using four at a time. Herp. Right. Duck army or breakthrough army? This means I'll take up less space on the battlefield, so I can pack more of them in. Extra soft attack. Two extra arrows without supply. Or... Less encirclement. Well, this is not much use to me, because I'm not actually using armored recon with them. Breakthrough, though. But I think I'm going to go with shock army. Just might be least bad for us. Yeah, they're dug in in mountainous terrain and we're just charging straight up at them. This is not a good idea. For some reason I didn't have them on actual air support. Well, good. 
think once when I was playing Hearts of Iron 3, the predecessor to this game, I did pretty much the same thing. But I actually caused Italy to fall by just landing in Rome landing in Rome and then deliberately avoiding combat. Probably a more sensible way to do it, but then I probably got my arse hands to me when I tried moving up through the through the Alps. This isn't going to be much use to me because I don't have rocket artillery. But these these two might. Ah, be too much of an issue. Might as well go with this. Rear area dumps. Dead, I think I'll start pushing up around here. Push into Hanover because that is going to be a because that's a supply hub by junction. Generally, what you want to do is go for all these railway hubs and, and things because that's how supplies get through. That supplies we can't fight. I know it sounds so flagrantly obvious. Yeah, it's almost 80 years to the day since D-Day, and we're already well ahead of that. The surface fleet front, not much going on here. Submarines are still just operating. Might be time to upgrade some of these railways. I don't think the AI ever actually bothers for some reason. Weird, but there you have it. But before I do that, just make sure I finish this. Or we could possibly try and push into Groningen. Ready. Have another line there just in case that actually becomes a thing. Convoys taking hits from enemy close air support. Right, time to put the surface fleet up here as well. I need to wait for these to get back up to full strength. Waiting for it to be delivered. I will always try merging, merging these two, uh, consolidating them. Although we're not short of anything else really, it's just guns. They take for they take a while. Hmm, superior enemy. Wonder if that's because they just outnumber us. I think there's going to be close to collapsing anyway, so might as well do it.
and is fortified. I don't know which is worse for us. Hmm, Tibet joins in. Let's see, supply consumption, nutrition, vision attrition, your speed, breakthrough, division organization, but they also take longer to train for research speeds. This is probably the least bad of the two. Yeah, that's a... I guess I might merge these. First, I'm gonna see if I help clean up this area. Does armor really make any major difference here? No, but... B. Rainy has capitulated. Italian units have seized Vienna. Yeah, I think we're in the tail end of the game now. Just as far as this run is concerned. I wonder if it's because we are on two tiles here. Ah, that's as sure as we can do it. At the same point, these guys are going to have no real supply left. They're going to have to find it much harder to get it through. They're surrounded, they're encircled. Obligatory rate by encirclement. Keep pushing them. Hear that? I never actually did assign one of these out when I don't have the. Effort, yes. It's time to recoup. And then head into Utrecht and Rotterdam. Oh well. We took Arnhem. Fritz did, anyway. Being Operation Market Garden actually worked. Let's look at this. Keep on yep, they're well dug in. We got a force. Is the force affecting them? Whoa.
Utrecht has been liberated. Or it looks like it. Yep. Now the Germans are counterattacking across this river. I can't remember which one it is. Hmm. Yeah, the fact that they're using British voice lines for this is mildly irritating, but it's a free mod made by by fans of the game in their spare time. I probably don't sound all that Irish either. You know, I've had a dumb idea for another type of playthrough. Do this purely as a railway tycoon. Just building railways and infrastructure, keep my military purely for defending Ireland or whatever country I play as. Let me know in the comments if you think that would be fun. Probably not. I probably wouldn't do a full playthrough like this, but... Ooh. Damage from that. Upgrade my artillery. We'll see. Hmm. Again, I think this vertical integration one's the good one to go for. One thing I'm going to be short of is tungsten because I need that for artillery. But it's actually something I can live with. Yeah, we lost the uh, destroyer there. But we don't need it now because we have all these ports here. Maybe I should call this the Cavalry Corps because he nearly has a cavalry leader trait. They're gonna reject the You know what? For some for some reason I actually have to lend lead. they actually have to have convoys to get convoys. Doesn't make any sense, but I'm just gonna lend lead them some. Escape combo. Ah. I if I should start sending the submarines out here to help against the Japanese. Yeah, sure, why not? Right, we do not have the organization that is in a balanced manner. We'll cancel all those until they've recovered a bit. Still quite a few holdouts here in the Alps. I have a feeling the Germans are not long for this world.
I never got around to actually seeing any preferred tactics. Yeah, this counterfire thing is something added by the by the mods, I think, because in the base game, suppressive barrage doesn't have any counter. At this point, I'm not sure they're going to have the artillery. The supplies first. So. if I should change some of these infantry divisions to have a flame recon instead of support anti-air. It's gonna buff them a lot. Might as well. Yeah, let's wait for it all to arrive. We're losing a lot of these to anti-air, I think. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna put them back on close air on close air support only. It means they'll only actually fly when we attack. And for now, that's what I need. All these rivers. That's just not great here. Buff that up. It's probably all damaged. Oh boy. Still have all these sea coastal ports going. Well, at this stage, I'm not really using them for much. Okay, work. Once this is good, it's like I'm just gonna force attack on Rotterdam. All of them at once. Yeah, they have so many people in the in reserve. It's not not even funny. In that case. Try and push through to Rotterdam and get the port here. Because they might be able to get some supplies in that way. We don't want that, do we? Break convoys, break convoys, fresh. 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 Yep, they're trying to take Sri Lanka. What else to try to do? I guess these guys are not going to take too long. Yeah, motorized get there so much quicker. Might be another style to try. This is probably not a good way to way to fight. Because the bridge is probably right here. I mean we do have Siege artillery and all that stuff, but naval artillery. Oh, good. Ford cork. Viability. Force needs. They go with this again because 
steel and rubber are things I can get very easily. Nope, that ain't working. I grew up. See. I'm gonna try taking um up and join up with Flensburg. Yeah, that's bit basically everything we're doing is just localized hard point attacks. Add some more tanks to this. Just about. It's take a while for them to get here, but it's worth it. Oh, new video experts? Why not? Oh, one of the. Yeah. I think I can probably start with drawing the attache, maybe. Though we'd lose a fair bit of um, war support for that. Large river crossing. They've obviously noticed this lack of supplies, but hey, if they're willing to support, I'm I'm willing to say yes. Flying speed, that's not bad. An engineer would be helpful. Convoys. Oh, that is nice. Basically, those are probably meant for naval invasions. We do not want them to happen. Just need to wait for this to get back all the way back up. upgrade this any further. Extra defense and extra reliability. You know, I think that is worth getting. Does this get me breakthrough and maybe bust quite a bit more production cost? Oh, what the hell. Might as well. Because they've been running on low cost for a while anyway. Here, extra liability. I might as well at this point because it means they recover quicker. There's some trade up there, I can't remember what it is. Right, factory output, of course, or extra liability and less fuel consumption. Yes. Might as well just stack them all up on one place. So those are the Royal Marines, I think, going in. A Marine infantry unit. This could go either way. That'd be a rough battle, either way. Mm 
we're basically just grinding them down into into the dust more than anything else. Right, got that. Well, we managed to push through, and I think that will help up this lot here. Even if they have to retreat, they can at least we can at least pull their fat out of the fire. Okay, but these two on manual attack and have the other two on support. Three, rather. Bugger. Basically, we just need to take this section here. And not, I don't know, maybe push up towards Colding. Bugger. It actually happens. And we've probably lost a submarine along the way. We no longer need the lend lease now. Finally, a new land doctrine. Reinforced rate's nice, the rest of these would be far better, but can't get them yet. Look at this. Night vision. Yeah, 
Yeah, sometimes it's easier to just micromanage them. Maybe micromanage myself, but. Sometimes it actually just works better in this game. That's Denmark pretty much done. Guess I'm gonna try taking Kiel and Lubeck. I think we've managed to disrupt this, um, Asian here at least. Things aren't going too well over in Southeast Asia. Well, for us anyway. I think I'm gonna call this episode here here for the there for the time being. So yeah, still the tail end, but the Germans aren't making it easy for us. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Future race eight here. I decided that because the remaining episode is only twelve minutes long, I would just stick them together into one episode. Basically cleaned out most of the most of the Jutland Peninsula. Now we're trying to push into Kiel, clean up that area, and of course. They have us outnumbered and are dug in. This is going to be tr be painful. Over in the East Asia region, we have, have a lot of naval invasions going on, planned anyway. The one that oh, we've lost another submarine. The Japanese have taken Sri Lanka. Losing a lot of people, uh, quite a lot of people in this this meat grinder up here. But with a bit of help from a few other people, like the Third Rock of the Marne Division, starting to push. <laughs> These guys on supporting attack. Terrain does not help. Hmm. That's good, we had a hand in that at least. Let them regain their strength and organization, then try going into Lubeck rather than Kiel. Because that's planes. Our city. Yes, also an airfield here, which is probably getting the, the Germans a place to attack the you can see we have no air superiority out here. They do have a force, but it's in planes, that helps a lot.
And now we've got them surrounded from multiple directions and they have no supply coming in. Though this is probably the best time to do it. Nope, those are all victories. Nope, the Soviets have pushed through to, through to past Berlin. The Oscars of Magdeburg now. They must be close to surrender. That's going to happen soon, and then this war will be over for us. I did say I was going to go until, until Germany surrendered. Or capitulates, rather. And I did, and I am going to. Ooh, logistics wizard. Yes. Whatever, I'm going to just finish out the episode once that happens. Excellent. Are being pushed from two different directions. Maybe we should ask the Soviets if we can um, move into their territory. Okay, now we start pushing towards Hanover. These had the probably the fourth one who got completely wiped out. Excellent. Well, I need to bother with these uh, cruisers. Might be a good idea. Let's see, is there anyone I can? People states no. Islands. Republic of the Faroe Islands. Ah, nobody wants the liberation. Boo. Mm. 
Tirpitz. Battleship. Why not? Now, time to go home. Okay, Morians, let's go home. Alright, let's have a look at what these guys have. Do we have here? More submarines. these more destroyers are there any that are old that aren't going to be much use early destroyers very sizable navy Hmm, she never got upgraded. Right. Do, 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 do. Light cruisers. Hmm. Dresden is what? Leipzig. Us. Then there's also a Leipzig class. Ow. One thing I'm kind of annoyed at is that I can't actually refit any of these ships we've taken. Not even to give them new. What you call it? New radar. I can't English today. So this is actually going to be a... I might actually make this a short one because there's not a lot I need to do at this point. At the moment I'm just going to be building up these... all these railways. Yeah, just so that things get through. I know, this is just, this is kind of pointless, but, hey. Probably do it more of these. Okay, so this is going to be a short one. In fact, I might actually just stick the two of them together to make one final episode. That's going to be it for me. Any suggestions for the next run? Put them in the comments below. I'll see you in the next round. Bye for now.